When it comes to competitor research on Google Ads, a lot of people tend to think all I need to do is jump into the Auction Insights report, open the report and go, okay, cool. These are my competitors. But to me, that's not enough. And looking at the Auction Insights report in isolation doesn't tell enough of a story for you to act on in order to take advantage of the competitor insights that that report provides. Competitor research with the Auction Insights report should go way beyond just identifying your competitors and looking at their impression share. So today, what I want to take you through is my framework for analyzing the Auction Insights report and how you can use it to make changes and improve your campaign performance and spot really crucial trends that can make or break your campaigns. So let's jump in. Okay, so here I am inside of a Google Ads account and I wanna show you the Auction Insights report and what I do a bit differently. But we're also gonna take the time to learn about this report and how it can provide useful information to you. So when I go into Google Ads and I go into this account, I'm gonna go over to Insights and Reports and then into Auction Insights. Now this currently is showing me the auction insights for this business at the account level. If you wanted to look at individual campaigns, you could do that as well by clicking this drop down and selecting whichever campaign it is that you want to choose to look at your insights for. In this occasion, in this account that was running, the campaign was running on, or the account was running on one campaign, so there's no need to look at it at campaign level. All of the data I'm gonna show you pertains to one single campaign. It's for a removals business in the Bay Area of California, so that gives you a bit of reference as to what this business is when we're looking through this data. So here is the Auction Insights report I've navigated to. You'll see I've sorted high to low in terms of impression share. Impression share is a metric that shows you how often your ads show versus the total number of impressions impressions you could have had. Google doesn't let you show for everything that somebody is searching for because if you want to get 100% impression share for argument's sake, you'll have to be spending a lot of budget and a lot of money on your clicks to let Google give you that share of the market. So when you look at the impression share as a percentage, you can see here, for example, Yelp has an impression share of 23% and the business that I'm looking at now, which is the business I, I was running a campaign for, is 17.72%. So you can see that Yelp is, is a bit more visible than the business that is, is advertising in this account. And you can go down all of these different places and you can see all of these different businesses advertising. And what this report is showing you is based on exactly the, the types of auctions you're entering. So this data comparing competitors is only for the keywords, locations, and areas you're targeting. If you were targeting a very small area, the data shown in this report will pertain to that area. If you target a very large area, then the business would the businesses showing here would cover that large area. So every competitor you see in this report is based on your existing targeting. Don't forget that. So when we look at this data, you can see that that, that was what impression share was. For overlap rate, this is basically the amount of time that your competitors overlap in the same auction as you are. So you can see if there's any crossover or what percentage of crossover is taking place. You can see here that again, Yelp has the highest level of crossover. Um, a lot of these metrics in terms of overlap rate, position above rate, top of page rate, um, these metrics can be useful. Generally speaking, I, I do look at them, but I think there is a bit more of an interesting take you can look at when analyzing the Auction Insights reports, which I'll get onto in a second. But just to clarify, P position above rate shows you how often competitors are showing in higher positions than you. Top of page rate is whether your ads are showing in the top section of the ads as opposed to the bottom section on the Google search, search results page. And absolute top of page is are you actually in position one? Are you actually at the very top of the page? And the outranking share is how often you are outranking the competition. So this, this kind of data is, is okay. And I do find it useful because ultimately I'm looking at quite a large time period here. And when you look through this large time period, you're gonna see the data is representative of that period. If I shortened the period to say March only, you will see the data will update to show just March. In March, it so happens that Yelp had an even bigger market share than the overall time period I was looking at previously. Okay, so now you can see there are lots of trends that change within the Auction Insights. It's very difficult for us to understand 
how these trends move and what's going on. You saw when I changed the date from all of February through to August, the data was very different to just looking at March in isolation. Things have changed. A lot of competitors have a lot less impression share. Yelp has a much higher impression share and the business that this account represents has lost a little bit of impression share. So what's happened in that time? Well, I could keep clicking around on these dates and kind of try and put together a picture. But what I prefer to do is build a report that will show us exactly what happened. And it will also show you some very, very interesting insights. And one of the biggest things Auction Insights should be able to help you with is if you have a very large dominant competitor in your space, they make or break your campaign performance sometimes. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So I'm going to go over to the Insights and Reports tab, and then next I'm going to go over to the Reports Editor. So the Reports Editor is a good system. It basically allows you to report on every single metric within Google Ads, pretty much without exception. You can combine metrics to paint a picture with data. And what picture I want to paint is I want to see what my competitors are doing over time in terms of their visibility and aggression on the auction to see if there's any trends we can spot. And there is one I want to share with you here. So. I'm going to go and generate a report by clicking this button and then the it, it already shows in my most frequently used metrics which is search impression share auction insights but if it wasn't showing there because it's not something that's frequently used in your account just type in auction insights and it will come up and then it will, it will come up with this pop-up to kind of say it's going to use the url display um, display url domain for this report which is fine because that's exactly what's used in the Auction Insights anyway. So I'm going to hit Apply. And then you're going to see the same report we looked at. Search impression share from the Auction Insights and the date range we had selected. What I want to do for the purposes of this is go back to the original date range that we looked at. So I'm going to look at all of February, all the way through until the end of August and hit Apply. And that will take us back to the data we initially looked at in terms of who is showing in the highest positions for Auction Insights. I'm going to sort from high to low. And you'll see again Yelp is at the top and then the, the business that this account is for is second and then there's a bunch of other businesses as well. So that kind of paints a picture that we've already seen but what I want to do is visualize it. So I'm going to click on this option where it says table and I'm going to turn it into a time series. Now by turning it into a time series we're going to see trends in the data but this is still very hard to look at because of course we're looking at quite a large time period on a daily basis. We need to change this to a weekly basis. So I'm going to change the axes, the, the Y axis from daily to weekly. And that will make things look a lot clearer, as you can see. It's a lot clearer now. So we're seeing trends in the data. And you can see Yelp have always been top in impression share until all of a sudden they decided for whatever reason in June to just completely stop advertising. A business the size of Yale advertising removal services in the Bay Area, for whatever reason, it wasn't working for them. But let's take a look at what this means. So what you can do with this report is actually you can filter it down and only show certain advertisers. What I want to do is compare the red line, which is the business I'm looking at right now in this Google Ads account, with Yelp being the biggest advertiser. So to do that, I'm going to click all of these options and I'm going to close them down. And that's basically going to show us our business and Yelp. What do you notice happens here? So you have Yelp all the way across here, really high impression share. We're pretty consistent. Yelp drops off a cliff. And what happens? We start gaining. Now in this period, nothing was done in terms of um, CPA target or budget or anything. This is just a gain based on the fact that Yelp has taken a step back. What this means is campaign performance and visibility is dependent on how aggressive Yelp is. And what you'll find in your business when you look at this reporting, you might find a massive player in your market. And because they're so aggressive on the auction, it drives the costs up for everybody. They're trying to push everybody out. And you can see this demonstrated in the data where you can see Yelp drops off a cliff, we start climbing. Again, you might think this is just a coincidence, right? Well, no, let's start adding more businesses into the mix. So let's check out some of these other businesses. Um, here you go, two movers. They have started increasing as soon as Yelp has dropped off. They've been consistent. Yelp drops off, they start increasing. Let's look at TaskRabbit. Look at that. Nowhere to be seen. Yelp drops off, they start increasing. All of these businesses have the same trend. As soon as Yelp disappeared, everybody else has started increasing. This one's a bit different. They've never really been that visible. But you'll see a lot of these businesses have started seeing another one. Here you go. Yelp drops off, they start increasing. 
What this means is for a lot of low budget advertisers, if you have really big players in your market, they can make or break the visibility you get on Google Ads. Because if they get extremely visible and it get extremely aggressive on the, on the um, search results page, then it means if you want to get business and if you want to get the number of leads your business needs, you need to compete with that. And if everybody starts competing with that, the overall price of the auction increases, everybody pays more and everybody suffers as a result. And Yelp is the one driving that in this particular business. As soon as they disappear, everybody takes a breather and goes, right, I can get more visibility now at a cost that I can accept and I can get the leads I need for my business because this massively visible business has taken a step back, meaning everyone else gets breathing room. So you can see that clearly demonstrated here. As soon as they disappear, everyone else has kind of stepped in to take advantage of the volume that was been left behind by Yelp. So this is a really good way to understand the Auction Insights report because it's going to help you see trends in the data. You might spot trends you know, different to this. You might spot a trend where your visibility starts starts to increase massively and everybody else chases you. So everybody else's visibility goes up at the same time because of market trends, because of changes in user behavior, because of maybe there's a big ad campaign in your space that made people kind of active in the market. There could be a number of reasons as to why trends change in the data, but it's important to spot them. And this report uses the Auction Insights report to spot those trends, whereas the default Auction Insights report makes it nearly impossible to spot trends like this. If we were looking at the table data alone, it would have been completely impossible to spot this data. So it's so important and so crucial that we did this in order to see those trends. So there you have it. That is how to build out a report that shows you trends in the auction insights, as opposed to looking at just the table, which doesn't really tell much of a story. Now, tactics like this are becoming less and less on Google Ads because there's a lot of automation and kind of the levers of control we have are being removed because of AI systems and automations. And I actually did a test to see whether or not you can build campaigns using AI within Google Ads to see if you can build something successful. And you can watch that video on screen right now to see whether or not you can build a campaign using just AI only.